Brandon, what do you think the chances were that, that run was going to score when you see the ball hit the third and just how gratifying is it to end up with a sweep here? Well, we had one of the better guys to, to have a third base in that situation, obviously running on uh, contact there. Um, McKenna got a really nice ball hit dirt early. Great slide at the end. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping that the throw would be off Lumac as a plus runner and, and got a good break. Um, but did a, did a really, you know, nice job by Yuri's putting the ball in play with two strikes. Good, you know, things happen, we put the ball in play. And uh, and, and Mac with a really nice contact read there. It was a, it was a fun one. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Hey, uh, Brand, uh, Brandon, how important is it for you to, to have, for the club to have a, a three game sweep there haven't been a whole there haven't been a whole lot of them this year and that's me uh you know a knife in a comeback just give me one second a little internet issue zoom problem still 2021 okay good Chris, say it again i'm sorry yeah uh how important for the club was having a, a three-game sweep since there haven't been very many of them and to have the, the ninth inning comeback since you you hadn't had a, a ninth inning comeback all year. Yeah, it's something we haven't done and uh, you know started with the hit by pitch with Franco and and um, that great piece of hitting by McKenna. You know Brad Hand, who I had back in 2011. You know Brad for a long time, one of our elite closers in our game, all star type closer. Put some good at bats together against him. Hazy with a really competitive at bat. Um, you know Val with a really nice piece of hitting, driving the ball the other way. To, go to score the runner and and advance Mac to third base, and Ramon putting the ball in play with with uh, two strikes there. So um, it's nice to get a sweep. It's nice to to have a comfort behind win. It hasn't we haven't done that very much in the last few years. So uh, it was fun to it's fun to watch our guys celebrate right now. Nathan, go ahead. Brandon, what'd you make of Ryan's whole day on both sides of the ball, Ryan McKenna? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I've talked a lot about him. I mean, he, he's uh, he's an energetic player. He takes uh, competitive at-bats. He's played outstanding defense. He can play all three spots. Um, really like his base running ability. And, uh, you know, he's been, he's been fun to have on the club just because he has a lot of life in how he plays, his energy in how he plays. And that's uh, it's fun to watch a young player continue to get better. Dan Connolly, go ahead. Brandon, what's your take on how John threw today? And do you feel like he's getting a step back, you know, closer to what he was after his last yeah. start? I thought he was really good. I thought I just thought a few bad pitches there, you know, the, the two hit by pitches to Escobar, where he's trying to go in, one grazed and one got him. Uh, you know, that led to runs, unfortunately. Uh, but I thought his changeup was much better than his last start. I thought he threw some good breaking balls. I just didn't see the I think the fastball command is is close to being where he wants it to be. Um, it's getting there. Uh, but he had a bunch of quick innings. He was pumping strikes. Uh, just the two hit, you know, the two hit by pitches to Escobar and the home run to Zim. On uh, you know, Zim's been doing that for a long time. Fastballs up, driving the ball up, up out over. Um, such a good player. Always been a good player. So, I'd like to have. I'm sure you'd like to have those three pitches back. And might have been a little bit different line, but but um, really happy how he got into the seventh inning. Last question is from Stan Charles. Brandon, with the crowded outfield that you've had, you've you've shown a sort of a, a fondness for McKenna, and I'm wondering if you know how many careers get changed by the manager liking the intangibles you see in McKenna. Well, I think today was set up perfect. I, I wanted to give Hazy an off day before the off day. I'm trying to keep him healthy these last two months. Really want to. That's that's important for me is to for Austin to be. Um, Fresh, and let's see what we, let's see what he, who he is because I, I think he's going to be a really good player. I just got we got to keep him on the field. So I'm a little conservative with Austin, which is allowing me to to play Mac more. Um, get DJ in there against right-handed pitching. Uh, I need to give Set a day off at times just because he's getting you know five at bats and running around the outfield, center field like like crazy uh, every single night. So I'm trying to keep these guys as fresh as possible, which allows me to to uh, Put guys in there that, that we want to see more, and, and um, like Ryan McKenna, um, and Matt, Max opening eyes just because it's you know, this guy's hardly playing AAA. Yeah, 
and you know didn't play much last year at all and is uh, holding his own. And, and we Brandon, love- and Brandon, could you give a quick comment on Mikel Franco that speed that he showed today? I just told him I almost pinch ran Spencer Watkins for him. So, <laughs> so he uh, <laughs> And I don't even know if Watkins ever been on base before. So when I was going through the list of who I'm going to run for for Franco, I either go with a uh, 30 runner, below average runner, or a pitcher that I don't trust. And uh, that's that was a tough that was a tough decision. Fortunately, the, the first and third, uh, he really showed off the wheels. He's he's it's kind of top heavy and leans into it. 